you finally learned how to make awesome edits in After Effects. All the effects look great, but there's one thing missing. All your videos seem to be flopping because your viewers skip doing the intro and don't even wait to see the actual edit. Why am I so unlucky, you think? But then you look at other edits and realize that most of them have awesome text effects in their intro to keep the viewers engaged. If only I knew how to make them. If you want to go viral, you have to start using these eight text effects in your edits. Starting from easy all the way to difficult. But let's begin with our foundation. For our base text, we want to make sure that we already adjusted all the settings in the character panel to make it fit our liking. And then we're going to open up our effects and presets panel and search for deep glow. Drag it onto your text layer. Then put the radius from 500 down to 400 and the exposure to 0.2 so we can actually read the text. Next, search for drop shadow. Drag it onto the layer. Then put the opacity from 50 to 100, the distance from 5 to 0 and the softness from 0 to 100. As I said, these text layers are our foundation. So even though they're pretty simple, make sure you apply them to all your text layers. Because later in this video, I will also show you the smooth blood text, this transparent stroke effect, and this amazing race text. But first, let's bring some color into it. So go back to your effects and presets panel and search for gradient ramp. Very important, drag it above the deep glow effect. Now click swap colors in your effects control panel. And now when we zoom in, you can see we have these two little dots that we have to pull closer to the text. Start with the top one and then also adjust the bottom one till it looks something like this. Make sure they're nice and close. And now click onto the black end color box and then just choose whatever color you want your text to be. And in my case, I want it to be red. And if you want your red color to be more predominant, just go ahead and decrease the start of ramp value right here. As you can see, we'll move our point up and that way we get some more color. If this is too boring for you, don't worry because next we will bring in some movement. As you can see, I switched the scene and I'm now going to go back to my effects and presets panel and search for S underscore texture flux. Now again, drag it onto your text layer, but make sure it's above the deep glow effect. And if you can't find this effect in your After Effects, make sure to get it from the Discord link in the description. Now click onto color zero and again, just select any color that you want to use for your text. As you can see, when we play our text, it now has these white stripes floating over it. And if you want to increase the amount of stripes that you have, just go to the frequency and put it up. And if you want to have less stripes, just put it down. But I like to just leave it at four. Now next up, we have the smooth glitch text effect, which I've never seen anyone talk about. Just watch out because to add this text effect, we have to have a text animation. Check out this tutorial if you want to learn how to do that. As you can see, I have my text with the animation ready. And this time we want to go to effects and presets and search for S underscore time warp. Again, make sure you drag it above the deep glow effect. And because we don't want this black bar in the background, we're going to start by putting the output opacity to copy from input. And then we're going to change the green shift frames from being at one to minus one and the blue shift frames from minus one to minus two. The red shift frames we will just leave at one. And that's how we make this awesome glitch effect. And depending on how much glitchiness you want, you're just going to have to play around with these three values. I personally love stroking things. So next we're going to do this nice stroke text. To do it, I prepared a clip of the peak. And what we want to do is double click onto our text, make sure all of it is selected. Then we're going to open the character panel and click this little arrow next to the two boxes. As you can see, the letters are already transparent, but obviously this is too thick. So we're going to go to this setting right here called set the stroke width and we're going to decrease it till we have the right amount. If you want to change the color of this text, we're going to select all of it again. Then make sure we click the box with the hole in it. And now we can just select every color we like. And if you want to go back to normal, you just got to click this little arrow again. Now next, we're going to do this bend text, which is perfect to wrap around something. Start by heading to the top and then click and hold down on the rectangle tool. Select the ellipse tool and then click and hold to draw the circle. Make sure it's about this size and then open your text settings in the bottom. Now open path options and then for the path, instead of none, select the mask one we just created. And as you can see, our text automatically binds onto the circle. If you want to adjust how much this text is bending, just double click onto the circle and then drag out the edges until you like it. This way you can also move your text up or down however you want. If let's say we want our text to be at the top instead of the bottom, we can go ahead to these path options and then just increase the first margin till it's at the top. And now obviously we don't want it to be upside down, so we're going to click on reverse path and put it on. Now adjust it to the middle and it's done. But wait, what should have been done years ago is you subscribing to the channel. So scroll down right now and hit subscribe. After bending our text over, we're next going to do this race effect. I would always put the race effect on a white text because that looks the best. And to apply it, we're going to go to our effects and presets panel and search for S underscore race. Now again, make sure you drag it above the deep glow effect. And we're going to start by putting the race length from 0.25 to 1. And the race brightness, we're going to put from 3 to 1.5. Now, if you do decide to change the color of the race, we're just going to click on race color and then you can put whatever you want. Now, something you definitely shouldn't miss out on is adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction can increase your quality from looking like this into looking like this. And if you don't want to get my exact color correction that I use to make my edits look the best as possible, make sure to check the first link in the description because I'm still currently running a huge opportunity in my shop. You can get up to 70% of my presets, which are a must have if you want to take editing more serious. So click the first link in the description and learn from the best. Limited time offer. But let's do this extremely popular blood effect. To start, we have to set our text color to red. Double click onto your text, make sure all of it is selected. Then go to the character panel and click on this white box. Put it to red and then press on OK. 
Okay. Now open your effects and presets panel and search for fractal noise. Then drag it above deep glow in your effects control panel. Start by putting the contrast from 100 to 800 and the brightness from 0 to negative 10. Now hold Alt and then left click onto the stopwatch next to evolution. Once you did that, you should see this text popping up on your timeline and we're going to delete that and replace it with time, asterisk and 200. Then put your blending mode from normal to screen. And lastly, open the tint setting on your deep glow and put a check mark next to enabled. Make sure the color is set as red and then put the mix to 30%. Now, just apply your high quality color correction and you're good to go. If this video helped you, make sure to smash the like button, hit subscribe and leave a comment for the algorithm. Watch this video if you want to learn how to make your own high quality color correction and see you next time.